Instructions for burning a video DVD on a Mac. Okay, you have your video files on a USB or you've downloaded them from the internet or your Vimeo account and you want to put them on a DVD. A few things you're gonna to need to know first, you will need an application installed on your Mac to burn a video DVD. It's quite simple. I'll add the link on the screen, but you will need to go to the web page and click download. It'll direct you to SoundForge page and the download should start automatically. Once you've downloaded the software and opened the folder, you should see some documentation, text, and the application itself. So what you're going to do is open your applications folder and drag the burn icon over to the applications folder. This will install the burn program on your Mac. Once you've installed the program, open the applications folder or press command and the spacebar and type in burn. Or you can simply launch your launch pad. Look for the application and click burn. Let's go ahead to our preferences first. Top left hand corner, click. Click on preferences. Click on the video icon. Make sure you've got it set to PAL. NTSC is for America, PAL is for Australia. Now click on the DVD tab then click use DVD theme and you can close that window okay so now you need to open the folder up that has the original video files in that you want to burn to the DVD you can select one you can select up to eight I recommend selecting no more than eight to keep the quality once you have dragged the video files across, it's going to ask you to choose a directory to create the MPEG video file. You can make a folder on the desktop or you can simply use the desktop as a landing spot. So go ahead and choose that. It's now going to do the encode. So this could take anywhere from 15 minutes 25 minutes depending on your system specifications you can see here that the files have now converted maximum size is 4.2 the DVD can hold 4.7 gigabytes but we recommend around 4.2 as a maximum file size so what you're going to do now is grab a blank DVD, load it into your computer and wait for it to load. It will pop up with a dialog message. Please read it and then click ignore. We are now going to go ahead and burn. We want to choose a speed. It's always best to choose a speed between 12 and 16 times. This can help with minimizing errors during the burning process. So I'm going to go ahead and now click burn. You will need to wait for the DVD to burn. This can take anywhere again, from 10 through to 20 minutes, maybe longer, depending on the speed of your machine and the age of it. Now, you can see here that the DVD is burning. Once the video is finished burning, it will then close the session. When the session is finished closing, it's done.